Hey guys, Shaber here, doing a little vlog here. Um, had to go with Monkey again to work today because I had to go see the pulmonary doctor, which they didn't run any tests. I just kind of had to go talk to him. Um, but, you know, of course, one of the first things he says is, you need to quit smoking. If you want me to help you, you're going to have to quit smoking thinking, wow, that's kind of discrimination, isn't it? I mean, you know, what, you're not going to help me if, I, if I'm a smoker? If, you know, if that's the whole case, then I, you'd be out of a job if it wasn't for me. But he don't know yet because he hasn't run any tests. He's just seen where I was a smoker, so he started off with that. All right. So then he gives me two-week supply of this inhaler, right? Okay. Well, I got two of these. And this, this is hard to take here, guys, because uh, you, you got to pull this down. you got to let all your air out and suck it in and then hold your breath for 10 seconds. That's hard for me to do. I did it in there. I thought I was going to pass out. Okay, but now he's worried about me smoking less than a pack of cigarettes a day. Now, I was reading the side effects on this medicine, right? Okay. Worried about me smoking, but let me read this to you, all right? Because a lot of people don't read this stuff. Well, I do, because I, you know, I'm wondering. Because see, the first thing he said when he was talking about that was, and this is no joking, Nas Monkey. I can write you a script for anything. I can write you a script for for gum, I can write you a, a script for pills, I can write you a script for the patches. My cigarettes cost a dollar thirty-five a pack in most places. A lot of places I can get them for 99 cents a pack, okay? Now, I know, I know what you're all thinking. Smoking's bad for you. Yeah, it is. So, sucking on exhaust fumes in your car all day long. So, it's a lot... 90% uh, of the shit we eat's no good. You know, it's not good for us, you know. Overweight, let's go there. Overweight can kill you, you know. I mean, uh, you know, so I'm not, you know, I mean, I, I went down from three and a half packs a day down to less than a pack a day, right? So, I mean, I opened this pack of cigarettes yesterday. I've still got five in it. See that? So, come on. So, and this is before he tests me. Now, okay, smoking that pack of cigarettes. This may take a minute, so. Alright, it is called, what is it? Anaro Elipta or whatever. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anaro Elipta. Okay, now. If you take too much, this is only supposed to be once a day, so I don't know if I if I take, how am I going to take too much? Uh, but I guess some people would. Uh, call your health care provider or go to the nearest hospital or emergency room. Okay, but it says, what are the possible side effects of an RO elipt of this product? With a question mark. It can cause serious side effects, including... And it says, also, this is like a page and a half long here. Well, you know, short page. But, okay, several paragraphs. Uh, and the first thing it says is, C, what is the most important information I should know about an R elliptic? So it's put, you know, it's going back and forth. Okay, number one. So, but, all right, so that's number one. I got to read more up on it before I read the side effects. I think they're trying to get you away from reading these side effects because I read them. This is some crazy shit, guys, alright? I've been smoking cigarettes for 30 years. And by the way, my primary doctor thinks it's a blockage because I have scar tissue from my bronchitis when I had bronchial pneumonia coughing so much and when I was coughing up blood, it was ripping. So the scar tissue, she believes, is what the blockage is. is why I can't breathe. Doctor thinking it's cigarettes. But sudden 
<laughs> here's the first side effect. Now I'm now I've got to I've got to take this because I'm having breathing issues, right? But the first side effect is sudden breathing problems immediately after inhaling your medicine. That's why that's why I'm taking it, right? If you have sudden breathing problems immediately after inhaling your medicine, stop using this product and call your health care provider right away. Hmm. So he's going to give me something that may worsen the problem I'm having. That has nothing to do with a cigarette. Second one. Serious allergic reactions. Call your health care provider or get emergency medical care if you get any of the following symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, which is rash, swelling of your face, mouth, and tongue, hives, or breathing problems. Well, my whole issue is breathing problems, okay? Alright, there's effects on my heart. Increased blood pressure. A faster, irregular heartbeat. Awareness of heartbeat. Or chest pain. Stuff I'm, I'm already having, right? This, this could cause that. So, they're prescribing me all this shit that's could or possibly may cause or get worse than the problem I'm already having. This doesn't make sense. It's like wiping before you shit. It doesn't make sense, okay? It can have effects on my nervous system. Tremors or nervousness. New or worsened eye problems including acute narrow angle glaucoma. Okay, new or worsen. I don't have glaucoma. It's just for reading. These these are just they're not even prescription. They just help me read better, okay? All right. New. Okay, so this could possibly cause acute narrow angle glaucoma can cause permanent loss of vision, a vision if not treated. Symptoms of acute narrow angle glaucoma may include eye pain or discomfort, blurred vision, red eyes, nausea or vomiting, seeing halos or bright colors around lights. Wow. Yeah, so take this. Stop smoking. Breathe breathe great. Can't see shit. Now, now instead of smoking that dollar pack of cigarettes, I may have to go get thousands of dollars worth of LASIK surgery if that would even work if this causes that. So I'm, you know, like, you know, doctors will say you're flipping a coin every time you light one of them. I'm flipping a coin every time I cross the fucking street, okay? I'm really, fl I'm flipping a hell of a coin taking this shit, right? Once a day for 14 days. And, okay, now that's, you know, that's the worst of them. But here it is, it goes on. If you have these symptoms, call your healthcare provider right away before taking another dose. Urinary retention. People who take anorolepta, whatever, may develop new or worse urinary retention. Retention. Symptoms of urinary retention may include difficulty urinating, urinating frequently, painful urination, urination in a weak stream or drips. Wow, I'm breathing, I just can't pee. Glad I gave up smoking. You know, come on here. This 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 shit's pissing me off. If you have these symptoms of urinary retention, stop taking it and call your healthcare provider right away before taking another dose. Another dose. And it can cause changes in laboratory blood levels. So, including high levels of blood sugar and low levels of potassium. Hmm. Wow, but I'm flipping a coin every time I light a cigarette. I'm flipping a coin every time I get in this truck, every time I go out and check the mail, every time I cross the street. I'm flipping a coin. Okay. Common, common side effects of this here product. Sore throat, 
Common cold symptoms, pain in your arms or legs, chest pain, sinus infection, constipation, muscle spasms, lower respiratory infection, diarrhea, neck pain, uneven tire wear, low tire pressure, multiple misfire on bank one. Come the fuck on. For real? I mean, all that except for the car stuff I threw in. You know, neck pain. I, I mean, and these are common side effects. Common means it, it usually happens to people. So not only can I not breathe, I may end up with a sore throat, I may get some chest pains, pains and more, you know, oh, but throw that cigarette away. You know, tell your healthcare provider about any side effect that bothers you or that does not go away. These are not all the side effects with this product. That's not all of them, there's more. But it says call your doctor for medical advice about, so there's more side effects they're not even telling you about. But I better quit smoking. I've smoked for 30 years, but I better quit now. Because he says, if you quit now, I can prolong your life. Why? Is he, is he going to personally, every time I cross the street, is he going to personally make sure all the vehicles are stopped? You know, is he going to personally... You, you know, make sure there's no vehicle behind us, that a guy's drunk may slam into us or in the side of us. No. So he, he shouldn't be allowed to say that, you know. I mean, that's ridiculous. And it, right there, these are not all the side effects with this product. There's more. There's more. Just too many to fucking list. And, and I need to quit smoking. Now, these... And he's, but the first thing he's wanting to do is write prescriptions for shit I can't afford, you know. So when, where am I going? Where am I going to get a pack of patches to keep from smoking for a dollar, a dollar thirty-five a day? Actually, a little less than that. Where am I going to get the gum, the lozenges, the pills, the, you know? Where am I going to get that for that kind of money? And each and every one of those have their own side effects now where's the side effects on this you know this, there's one side effect you could die yeah you can well this you can go blind then have chest pains be sick for months and then die to where at least now at least I can go do some things if I take my time and do them I can go for a walk I just gotta take it easy I gotta sit down I gotta rest I go blind Personally, is he going to personally hold my hand so I can walk and make videos? You know, is he going to pay for my LASIK surgery if I get glaucoma? Uh, you know, I mean, is it, you know what? I don't have a sore throat right now, but what if after four or five days of this, I start having a sore throat? You know, these don't give me a sore throat. I'm not, I'm not, you know, condoning them because I know they're bad for you. Cigarettes are. We all know that. You know, they are bad for you, but warning, this product contains, produces chemicals known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects or other reproductive harm. Okay, I could get cancer. My mom never smoked, and she had cancer when she died. Never smoked. Never smoked down in her life. I could go blind taking this shit. Permanent eye loss. It says it right there. You, you know, I mean, I can have urinary problems. I can start having chest pain, swollen. You know, I could have rashes, swollen. Hell, you know, it, my if my tongue swells up, what if, what if it does swell up? Then I can't breathe. And that's the problem I'm having to begin with. Now I can't breathe, period. And everyone say, oh, he died because he smoked. No, I died because I took this fucking shit that's supposed to help me after I threw these away. I mean, you know how many people that had quit smoking, started taking medicine, had allergic reaction, and died because of it? And, and you know, I got I got a doctor that has the gall to say, you know, if you want me to help you, you need to quit smoking, or you, and it wasn't, you know, yeah, you should, you know, but no, it's kind of like, you know, if I want his help, you know, it's kind of like mandatory I quit smoking. Well, number one, how can he say that, that this is the problem before I even take the tests? Okay, he can't. You know, that's like somebody, you know, calling me up and saying, Well, my car is running kind of funny. Well, the first thing you do, you need to do is bring it in so I can change all your fluids and all this bullshit before I even run a compression test on it. No, 
I would never do that and I don't think a doc doctor should either just because you can tell he's not a smoker and you know he's totally against it well I mean you know I'm not running his life you know I know it's bad for me but this is coca-cola what the hell I mean you know secondhand smoke will kill you quicker well then maybe you should fire up a cigarette and live long as me motherfucker you know but it pisses me off when people just pretty much flat out tell you I really don't want to help you if you're a smoker well that's discrimination you know that's like saying I don't want to help you because you're bald it's the same thing you know so what I mean these come on yeah they're bad for me but is he going to tell me this is good for me and then the patches that's good for me I do know for a fact the patches put nicotine in your system that's what these do come on doc really so me and him ain't gonna get along you know because I told him right there he you know he because he, he says you know you quit smoking and I'll prolong your life I said yeah I quit smoking today dog and get hit by a fucking bus tomorrow well, he didn't have nothing to say about that how can he how can any doctor say I can prolong your life you know that's playing God and, and I don't like that you know I mean it's ridiculous it is ridiculous I mean anything we do if we're out in the Sun too long oh I'd like to take a walk day but I can't go out in the Sun too long it causes cancer it just pisses me off hit me the wrong way so anyway guys there's my little vlog, my little rant, I guess. So I just, uh, I just don't think it's right that they have the right to tell you that, you know, and then then want to charge a hundred and sixty some, one hundred sixty nine dollars, and I haven't even had my tests yet. One hundred sixty nine dollars to tell me that cig cigarette smoking is not good for me; it can kill me. So can this that he's charging me for and that he wants to charge me for the patches and all this bullshit. He wants to charge charge me a hell of a lot more than these cigarettes and I'll bet you cigarettes take longer to kill me than this stuff. I mean, come on. I don't want to go blind. I do know this ain't going to cause me to go blind. Can it cause cancer? Yeah. Can I beat cancer? Yeah. Can I get cancer without these? Yeah. I mean, can I get glaucoma? Sure I can, but damn, I don't want it because the doctor said this is good for me. This is better for me than these are. I I could take four years to die in a fucking hospital using this kind of shit. And the more you, you know, and, and they want to write more prescriptions. That's just this. That's just this alone. And, like I said, it's not all the symptoms. It's not all the side effects. Because everyone knows if, if they learn anything about side effects that side effects you will get a few side effects on anything that you take if there's a side effect you're going to get them you know I mean at least a couple and I mean come on shortness of breath really that's that's why I'm supposed to be taking this once a day so I can breathe now instead of saying it can make it worse you know, I could take this in the morning, kill over fucking dead. But the first thing I'm going to do is have my cigarette before I do that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Take care now.